and there's big breaking news at this hour. The centre has cleared the five names for appointment as the judges of the Supreme uh, Court. And uh, these uh, five are... Uh, uh, the names of these five, the president has signed off on their warrants of appointment and a notification, notification is expected uh, shortly. Uh, Arvind Gunasekar of monitoring this story, he joins us now. Arvind, these five names actually coming at a time when the, the centre and the top court has been in a uh, face-off over who gets to decide judges. But tell us about these new judges, who are they and when will they be sworn in? Sir, after sitting over the recommendation of the Supreme Court Collegium for appointment of five judges to the Supreme Court uh, Center has now cleared all these five names. Uh, uh, the Supreme Court Collegium on December 13th had recommended these five names for appointment to the Supreme Court and Center was sitting over these names for almost two months. It's already February uh, 4th and after sitting over two months, now the Center has cleared it. And if you could see the uh, five names, the five judges of the uh, High Court, uh, those who have been uh, recommended for elevation to the Supreme Court, it, it consists of Justice Pankaj Mittal, Justice Sanjay Karol, Justice P.V. Sanjay Kumar, Justice Asanuddin Amanullah and Justice Manoj Misra. All these five names were recommended by the Supreme Court Collegium for appointment to the Supreme Court on December 13th. And now Centre has cleared the names. And what we are being told is that President has signed their warrants for appointment. And very shortly, we can expect their notification, the notification to uh, for, for the appointment to the Supreme Court is expected very shortly uh, and in all likelihood if at all if everything goes as per the plan we can expect all these five judges to take oath as the judges of the Supreme Court on Monday itself and not just these five names uh, even uh, last week Supreme Court also recommended two more names uh, for appointment to the uh, Supreme Court with the, considering the vacancy that is currently in Supreme Court and Supreme Court even while naming uh, giving those two recommendations two more press names to uh, center made it very clear that first these five names those those names that were recommended on December 13th should be cleared as soon as possible and only after the clearing of those five names these two names should be considered so uh, considering the uh, request from the Supreme Court Collegium. Now the centre has cleared all these five names and we can also expect the centre to clear two more names that have also been added by or sent by the Supreme Court Collegium. Um, Arvind, thanks for that, uh, for this breaking story. But just put it into context for us. This has been a very controversial uh, issue, hasn't it? It comes at a time when the there's been a contempt plea filed against uh, the centre allegedly taking an inordinate uh, delay in, uh, in clearing these names. The bench even observed last week or this week that there was a lack of consistency in the time taken by the centre to clear names. They went on to say that it was creating issues of faith uh, or basically trust between the judiciary and the executive. And in the end, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, was there also actually a deadline given uh, by, or by the 13th of February by which the, the centre was to take steps forward? Yeah, uh, uh, Sarah, in fact, in a very unusual manner, Supreme Court took the issue of delay in clearing names to higher judiciary on judicial side. Usually, all this appointment to judges, all this appointment of judges to both High Court and Supreme Court are always dealt by administrative side. That is the collegium writing to the centre, government and the government responding to it. It has always been an administrative process. But because in the, in the recent past, because centre was not uh, clearing the names uh, uh, promptly that were recommended by the Supreme Court collegium, and that's why Supreme Court, in a very unusual manner, took the issue on a judicial side, and they have also issued a notice to the Secretary of Justice asking for his response. And in the and Supreme Court is, is continuously hearing this matter, and the next hearing of this matter is on 13th February. And that's why Supreme Court made it very clear to the Attorney General, saying that these five names of to apart for the Supreme Court was was uh, were recommended uh, sometime in uh, uh, December 13th. The Supreme Center was sitting for, on it for over two months, and that's why Supreme Court took uh, uh, exception and told in a clear terms to the uh, 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 to the Central Government through Attorney. General that, that these names have to be cleared as early as possible because the vacancy is actually hindering the process of justice. Not just the Supreme Court, but even the but even the uh, uh, appointment to high courts, several appointments to high courts are also pending uh, with the with the uh, centre and also the transfer of chief justice to several high courts. Various high courts are also pending with the centre. That's why Supreme Court has told centre that they will be hearing this matter again on February 18th, wherein the Attorney General has to give the status report on the on the on the processing of these names. But after Supreme Court took exception to this and made it very clear, these names have to be cleared as soon as possible. Now we are hearing files moving past in centre and centre clearing all these. Fine and we can expect shortly the notification from Central also for their appointment.